Yo, I'm reading um something just came across my timeline right now, bro. What was that? Um, a pose that Tyrese made. So apparently he's saying, yeah, that um him and his girlfriend has broken up. So he was given the reason why they broke up, yeah. So he said, My Super Bowl plans are fucked. Power out age in my neighborhood. So I'm going at him. Me and Zelia, that's his girlfriend. Mm, okay. Just broke up over some dumb shit. Remember this. She demanded that I cancel my album because there's too many songs about my ex on there. <laughs> Fuck those diable mean. That's crazy though. That is, that is not crazy at all. Why is that? She's she's got a legit reason. To nah, bro. You think so? Guy, why you why you talk? Why? Guy, let's see. We're men. We we're men, right? <clears throat> we're men. When when a woman talks about their ex too much, I'll get pissed off. But that's different, though. But well, that's why, different. Why is it different? Okay, that's different, right? In regards to, if you mean we are in the house, we're having a conversation, and boom, any single chance you get, you bring up your ex. I, I get why mm. you'll be pissed at that, right? Mm. But if I'm an artist, right? Mm. If I'm an artist, my job is to create art, right? But, and, 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 if at that particular point in time, this is a this is a channel for me to to um, create whatever like this is where I am mentally, physically, or whatever the case is, mm, right? Mm. To create the best piece of uh, um, piece of art that I need to create. Mm. I don't see any problem with that, bro. That's fine, but then if you if your woman don't want to be with you because of that, that's understandable too. No, that's understandable. Some people can um can take it. Some people might not be able, might to, not take be able to take it. You know it, what yeah. I'm saying? But that's that's the reason why when you see people like Adele. Mm. right some of her best works was when she's talking about how how she was heartbroken yeah, 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 and relationships yeah, yeah. and that um taylor swift do, does the same thing too um drake does the same thing too like a lot of these artists do it like that's how they they sort of like that's um, how they let their emotions exactly. out and that's how they that's how they express express it marriage through obliged their, through their she music. does it, yeah exactly yeah. that's how they express their emotions or whatever it is that they are going on. But a on lot at of them time. express it prior to getting in another relationship. Most of the time, Adele, for example, most of the time that she's dropped these songs, she's still single. We don't know that. We don't know her private life, do we? we? Yeah, we don't. Maybe she's fucking around. We don't know. But she's not made it known that she's in a relationship. I feel you. I feel you. I just kind of feel like, you know, this is the reason why, yeah, this dating an artist or an actor. Not everybody can hack that shit. Nah, not be everybody. You know what I mean? Nah, nah, not everybody not... can hack that shit. Yeah, Me yeah, personally, yeah. I wouldn't really give a fuck, you know? I wouldn't really care. As long as whatever it is, it's not affecting our personal life. I think I'm very good, right, in separating work from my from, personal life. Yeah, but bro, a lot of it comes in the mixture of your personal life, you know? You might say that now, you might sit down and say that now, but a lot of things that they would see as not a problem you would sit back and think, oh, shit. That is a problem. That, to me, that is a problem. You might not see it now, mm. but to them, they will think, it, it from, they've been in the industry for, for ages, so to them, it's like a normal thing, but to you, it will be new, and you'll be looking at it like, like, did you just do that? Like, is that, like, you know, it will mm. come with a lot, it will take you a while to get used to it, and, and that while, during that while, you might just break down and then just leave the relationship. Because mm. I feel like it will be a whole new world that you're getting yourself into. Mm. And if you're not already involved in that lifestyle, mm. you might not be able to... I feel you. I feel you. I, yeah, I hear you. You know, it does one of them ones. I, I think from my perspective, right, as long as the person is healed or rather, as long as the person has gone through the work or whatever, healed, whether it's through therapy, however way, right, but mm. you've gotten over that person, but then also you want to tell that story or paint that picture of that phase in your life, I don't really see a problem with that. That's yeah. me. Now, if you're still in it, right, and if you're still, you know, in the limbo of things, going through the process and all that kind of shit, right, okay, once it start affecting your personal life or our personal life, meaning you and myself in extension of it, then obviously... Now, that's a problem. No, that is an issue, but then I can understand. I can understand um, Tyrese's 
girlfriend or rather ex because if you've been following Tyrese for the last year and a bit my man has been going crazy about this particular ex bruv you get what I'm saying like he's been talking bro he's been going crazy so you can tell that he's probably still going through the whole he's process still, yeah, and everything yeah, yeah, yeah. you get what I'm saying like don't you remember that meme of him crying and everything yep. and then he said what have you done to and me? And that was not even that long ago. It wasn't know? that long ago, bro. Yeah, yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you nah, know that, what I mean? that was a meme. Bro, that is still a meme, bro. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if he was acting or if he was serious, but that shit was crazy. I feel like I'm bro. sure it was. Nah, he, he's, he's not supposed to be in a relationship. Bro, take your time and heal. Mm. Clearly, you're still going through you're it. You're still going through that yeah, shit, Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to go out there and then put... <laughs> put... Your, it's... It sounds like you're committing your whole album to that relationship or to your yeah. ex or to whoever it is. But that's the right. same shit that Kanye West, did you see? That's the same shit that Kanye West did. And Kanye West gave us one of the best albums. I think it was um, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Fantasy. Like that era, right? I think it was because of his relationship or ex or whatever, right? And and that album till today one of the, is one of the best yeah, albums yeah, ever, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's what it is. So selfishly from a consumer, it's great. I'm, it's great. Hey, bro, it is great, bro. If you can give me your best with your work, yeah. going through the shit, please go through the shit. <laughs> Keep on going through the shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then, but then I understand why um somebody's sex would be like hell. No, yeah, bro. yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. How you doing though, my G? My brother, it's the You're, day of love. You it's feeling the day good, to yeah? show love. It's the day of whatever yeah you know what i'm saying the red day I, yeah okay i was waiting nah, to see bro. No, 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 i bro. was waiting to see if there was any red colored coordination in your nah, outfit fam, i'm not i'm not on the same boat as you bro are you going for dinner there's, tonight, a, there's a red cable though you've got a red cable hanging Nah, that's onto. a cable, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You are pulling on straws right now, bro. You are looking at something. I can see. Bro. I can see some red bro, roses. I nah, bro. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, oh, for, oh for fam, is that yours? For y'all out there that can't see behind the scenes, yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of red roses literally behind the cameras. Yeah. When I walked into the house, the first thing I I asked Toby, "Yo, who got these flowers?" <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> And my man what anyway. For, I'm not, for, I'm not for gonna, everyone that's watching, listen, this guy just trying shit. I'm bro. not trying shit. Bro, are at you the, going for at, dinner? At the end of bro. the pod, I'm gonna bring the roses and then put, <laughs> put, put flash them in front of the camera. Them imaginary roses, yeah. This is, yeah. See, 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 see blushing. <laughs> them imaginary roses are there, bro. <laughs> Fab, you see, I'm gonna yeah, answer no, this no, question, no, bro. bro. What, are you like, going wait, for wait, dinner? Come? Bro, are you going for dinner? No, 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 no. Bro, why are you so hardcore when it comes to shit like this? Shit like what? Like Valentine's Day, like celebrating love you get me you're always like bro listen 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 i know we've had this conversation so many times bro since you've known me and everything yeah mm. like i've never really been the valentine's day type of guy now yeah. maybe sometime in the future mm. i don't know you know what i'm saying but i've never bro what are you if I ask you right now, yeah, why are you celebrating a Valentine's Day? I'm not celebrating it. All right, then. I well, okay. I am. All right, all right, cool. Why are you not? Because I don't really... I don't really... It's not... I don't want to say I don't believe in Valentine's Day, right? Right. But I feel I feel like it's a bit unnecessary. All right. Like, we go through our day-to-day -day lives showing the people we care about that we care for them. Yeah. Showing the people we love that we love them. It might be little things that you do could be like you 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 text them to say good morning like you you show that you're thinking about them you show you're caring you you care for them right you buy them little presents here and there it could even be a coffee or something that you just buy it could be anything that you do to show someone that you care for them or you love them or they are special to you or whatever right I don't see the need to pick up one day one day of the year to celebrate love. I don't really see the essence of it. I understand why some people won't celebrate it and then pick that specific day to show their loved ones that. But you can't limit it to a day. It's it's you need to show it in your everyday living experience. You need to show the people you care that you care for them. And that's exactly how I feel about it. <laughs> about the whole thing fam. Mm. And I don't think and I don't think Valentine's Day should just be limited to whoever you're in a relationship with. No, of course not. You get I mean, me? like if you're, bro, your mom is there, bro. Yeah, you yeah. get what I'm saying? You should yeah. you should show your mom love on a Valentine's Day, bro. I know this might sound crazy to some people because we've all been con conditioned 
that Valentine's Day should be for whoever you're in a relationship with. I do not think so, bro. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Your parents, you can show them love on that day. Your siblings, you go, I mean, if you got kids, you can show them love on that day. You go, I mean, because they say it's a love day, right? Yeah, yeah. That's just what it is, bro. You get what I'm saying? So, but me, I just do not... I just don't know, bro. You get me? Maybe it's the rebelliousness in me and all that. But it's just this whole thing, bro. You got Christmas, you got Valentine's Day, you got Easter, you got birthdays, you got Christmas, you got fucking Boxing Day, Black Friday, Halloween. <laughs> bro, what the fuck, bro? No, but... It's you got me. You just right. want them. Yeah. Now, now, the people that are into Valentine's Day, that's great. Mm. You got what I mean? Maybe because I didn't really grow up in a family where Valentine's Day was celebrated. It was never discussed. So you've in my never household. celebrated Valentine's Day? Before. No. You've never gone out of your way to buy someone a gift or flowers or anything of that sort? I've, I've done um, a nice card, I've done a text message. I've done a flower before, yes. Are you sure? Back, yes. Back in the day, I remember seeing a massive teddy bear in your room. That I don't know what you're on about, together, bro. You know? Are you sure it was are me, you sure? Back in Rav, you're trying to share right now, bro. Damn, damn right days. Fam, no, no, I remember fam, something I've like that. I've noticed something about you. You come on this podcast to share shit, bro. You nah, got me. No, I, no, what I'm teddy not, bear are you on about, bro? Vividly, I remember something like that. I remember, I think it was flowers and a teddy Hold bear. Hold on, bro. Are you sure it was me or Nathan? It was you. Nah, definitely not me, bro. Teddy bear. Yeah. From your child shit, bruv. I might be wrong. Yeah, you are wrong. Excuse me if I'm wrong. Yeah, bro. you are wrong, yeah. bro. Anyway, <laughs> now, happy Valentine's Day happy to Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. You know what I mean? If you do, if you do celebrate it, yeah. make your partner, your woman, your man, make them feel special. Do your thing, man. For do real. your thing. Do your thing, bro. Fuck I'm all saying. this Valentine's nah, fam, shit. Let's introduce the podcast first, bro. I know where you're going to with this. You're <laughs> yeah, crazy, you, motherfucker, you know bro. Well. You got know where you're where going you to have, with this, bro. I know where you. I know you too well, bro. I know you too well, bro. Salute, 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 salute to every single one of you out there. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with us. And for that. Make sure that you want your damn clap, bro. You yes, know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, yes, As yes. you already know, as you already know, it's your boy Toby and your boy Cole. Salute to Kels, wherever he is, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know already, now you know this is Fresh Off The Ball podcast. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with us. You know what I mean? And salute to all the freshers out there, though, for real. Listen, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Watch the videos. Leave a like. Leave a yep, comment. Yep, share yep. it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend, people. Because they got friends too. You yep. get what I'm saying? And also salute to the audio gang as well. The people on Spotify, Apple Podcast, um, Google Podcast, Amazon Podcast, wherever you are, we day there. You get what I mean? Salute to you guys too. And also, if you want to do any promotion with us on this podcast, please, please slide into our email. Let me just pull it up real quick because sometimes I forget it too. You go, know I'm saying. So the email is fotbpodcast at yahoo.com. If you want to do any promotions, advertisements, or sponsor the podcast, you go, know I'm saying. Slide into the emails fotbpodcast at yahoo.com. Yep. Or you can also slide into our DMs and everything. And we are open for business, bro. Yeah, of course. You know, we know are. I'm saying. Listen, fam, should we start this? Yeah. We're here, brother. We're here, yeah? Let's do this. Fam, you were going somewhere before we did uh, the, uh, in uh, the introduction, I just, are, you, are you okay? I just want to know if you're okay. Am I okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm good, bro. You well, sure you're good? Yeah, I'm good. Are you sure you're good? Bro, I am solid, bro. Don't I look okay to you, fam? Not really, brother. Uh, talk to me. Why, why uh, do you think so, I don't so, know. Bro? You're looking like... I mean, like, your puffy like eyes, like, say you've been crying for a couple of days or For a couple something. of days. Nah, yeah, bro, yeah, listen, yeah, listen, yeah, I'm yeah. all right. Listen, I you, went you through, I bit, went through. You look, you look, I mean, you've got nice clothes on, but you're still looking a bit rough to me, brother. I, is it, bro? Like, you've been in a dog fight for yeah, a minute. Yeah, listen, I've, I've, yeah. Had, I've had a couple rough days, you know. you had a couple rough days, so you're you not know, okay. No, 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 I'm good now, you know. I, I don't think you're okay, bro. Bro, bro, a lot of my enemies succeeded, Respectfully, bro. I don't think you're okay. Talk to me, why don't you yeah, think bro, so, we bro? need to t We need to get a mental health nurse to come and check you <laughs> up, brother. <laughs> 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 you might seem okay, but I think you, you need some, some hey, TLC. I don't, I don't know. No, you, you, you need help. I don't know. I mean, my you sure say they're okay. No, for real. Like, I'm just being a caring brother. I yeah, just yeah. want to make sure that you're yeah, good. Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. You, you good? I'm, yeah, I'm you, good. Sure? I'm good. I'm good. Listen, listen. At the okay. end of the day, 
at the end of the day, yeah, the best team won. Uh, oh, I'm, I wasn't even talking about football, bro. I know that was where you're going to, okay, bro. Okay, but since you're coming big because, because it's, I've known you, bro. You never asked me if, I was, if I'm brother, okay, bro. Because you've always looked good, but today you look like. Okay, talk to me then, you bro. You look like. Talk to me. You know, then, but bro. if you're sure you're okay, yeah. you get me. I no go get doctor, I no go call ambulance or anything. You feel me? But how, how is the ego doing? How is the ego? Is the, is the ego dead? Is, is it, <laughs> Oh, you, you guys, you, you don't use the ego do so you finish. <laughs> hey, I don't die hey, you. How did they cook the ego? Did they broil it or grill it? Let, or listen, super they, egos. They carry do pepper soup or waiting. Super egos, this is your fault. Man. Mm. You got now say. pepper soup they carry. Chale, do. Chale, listen. Cause that ego, it couldn't fly. You know when ego get wet. Feather. Oh, Chale. No fit fly. Oh, Chale. Just did do so bad. <laughs> <laughs> just did do so bad. You know the fit fly. <laughs> I mean, how can, how can you go to war with an elephant? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, Bro, listen, have you, you seen me? that meme? Have you seen that meme, yeah, Which of one? the elephant on top of the eagle? Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, for Chale. real. It was for real, for on real. Sunday. Like, I, I realized that we were playing against the whole of Africa. Bro. Nah, nah, bro. To be honest with you, yo, yo, you, I didn't even, I did, I did not enjoy the game. It was like Argentina playing against flipping, this guy. flipping. Seychelles. <laughs> <laughs> like my guy, go call me. Like, what are they nah, bro, dog, it's like it was like Argentina playing my my primary school football oh, team club. Like, come on, bro. Oh, like, give me a, 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 an Afghan final worthy of me sitting down for 90 minutes to watch. Bro, listen. You, you, you feel have me? To un- bro, but this is the thing. Yeah, you have to admit, yeah, that one, we were playing against the crowd. My home brother, team, bro. my brother, no, 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 my brother. Home team. Don't give, home team don't come, bro, home don't team come and say here to give me excuses. Was Now the supporters, they play the game. Was it the supporters on, on pitch playing the game? Or was it... 11 men against 11 men. Don't, don't give me... Bro, but, bro but, my brother, my brother, don't give me... Any, that's not an excuse. It's not, it's not an acceptable excuse. It's not a good enough excuse. Yeah, at least give me a game worthy to watch. How many teams played Ivory Coast during the Cup? Most of the teams they faced gave them a tough time. Most of the... Yeah, let's be honest. Do you know that we Some beat... Some of them took them you, to penalties. Do you know that we beat Ivory Coast in the group I don't stage? care where, where you beat them. Your ego could not fly. Your bald ego could not fly that day. That's the that's simple I truth. See, yeah, you guys did not give me a good enough game to watch. And you know what pisses me off, yeah? Okay, go on. You guys, they go as... Like, you, you know, when you beat Cameroon, bro, you guys were acting as if God had whispered into your ears to say the Afghan is yours. Like, you, you lot were moving mad. You now beat South Africa. That, uh, as if you've already won the cup again. Like, the jubilee. Guy, you guys went as far as even calling South Africans ugly. You know, did you, did you see that? Ugly, how? Bro, there were bare memes. Like, I see, you got, we, we come in, we come to your country, we take your women, we take your businesses now, we take your cup from, like, it was mad. Like, as if you've won the cup already. Like, so, so like what the way? fuck? No, 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 hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. But you have to admit, yeah, that that this tournament, yeah, was clearly... I've never seen nothing like this in my life before. Yeah, this is Nigeria against the whole of Africa, bro. Because bro, of no, your... No, 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 bro. Because... No, 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 It's because of your ignorance Everybody. and your mouth you guys they, from scratch from the minute you guys got through the group stages you bro. guys were acting like the cup was yours bro everybody grammy. had the same grammy. chance you put no win grammy you did that the jubilator already we've won the grammy like we're winning it we're bringing it home what did what did you even say on the pod it's coming home like you know it's coming home don't, don't do that bro wait <laughs> ali wait like pause pause my g Relax. Oh, you, you, you're, you're behaving like Moses in the Bible. You, 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 you've seen Canaan. You've seen it with your eyes. So you think you're there. It doesn't work that way, my brother. You know if you touch him. You know if you touch him. You see Canaan, but I can't touch it. You, the seeing it, you can see something of it. It's like the way you guys got treated, right? It was as if, you know when you, know when you see, you get nice, babe. Like you've been dreaming about this girl like for years. And you finally... 
get in the bedroom with her, right? She can't tease you, tease you, tease you, make you come out your clothes. And she say, lie, lie, you know, go chop. That's what happened to you guys in the final. You guys were moving like, you did, you, you, you did go chop Beyonce. Now Beyonce strip you naked. Beyonce is like, you're not, fa- you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not getting your willy wet. <laughs> oh, Charlie. <laughs> hey, my guy, nah, guy, 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 guy. Nah, for, fam. For listen, for like you see, you on know. Sunday, yeah, on Sunday, when that game started, but first of all, this is the thing, you know, if you actually heard the previous episode, yeah, mm. I haven't told Kelly, I myself told Kelly, bro, I don't think we're going to win that game. I've, I told him that. I said, bro, I think that game is going to be a tough game because I, because I saw the odds. Mm. The odds were in Ivory Coast's um, favor. You get me? Okay, now the game started. Boom, we banged in the first goal. Even with the first goal, I, I just was not confident. You know what I'm saying? Because for some weird reason, we came into that game hoping to defend. Mm, mm, mm. We came into that game hoping to defend. You know what I'm saying? We only had one shot on target, bro. That yep. shit was crazy, yep. bro. Yep. One, yep. Shot, one shot on target, fam. You can't play 90 minutes like that. You know what I mean? So was I surprised that they won? No. Actually, no. I was not surprised that they won. Because I think, honestly, I think that we assumed a lot of energy Right, whether the players or the fans or whatever, we focus so much on the South African game, yeah. which was because of the extension of the Grammys and everything. And I know yeah. people they hear me right now, they just say, "Bro, yeah, fam, yeah, we don't yeah, want to yeah. hear all that, we bro." Don't, I, you honestly, got me we're making excuses and everything. Respectfully, you I don't want to hear that. Fam, I don't want to hear that. I said that my enemies won. There's no your and nobody be your enemy. You created those enemies yourself. You, w- how, bro? You lot roasted Ghana when Ghana was kicked out. Yeah, you, fam. You ro- exactly. Yeah, bro. So that's what happened because. When because roasted, you guys they make your mouth too. You're roasting every country. You roasted Ghana, you roasted Cameroon, you roasted South Africa, you roasted was it Ango- Bro, what when you do that, what, what do you expect? You're roasting every a country in every corner of Africa. What happens to you when you fall? We all gonna come at you. And that's what we did. Nah, you guys did that. The roasting did not just come from Ghana. South Africans they it's roast hate, you. Ivorians they roast you. Cameroonians, they roast you. It was coming from all fucking angles because you guys get mouth too much. You make too much noise. They're yeah. noisy fucking neighbors. Your, Sometimes your they to shut the fuck up. Your big brother. I don't care bro. if you're my big brother. I'll still tell my big bro, bro, <laughs> pipe man, down. Man, man, relax. Relax. <laughs> shut up. Re- calm down. Oh, Charlie. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Charlie. I hope you lot have learned from this because... The roasting, it ain't going to stop till the next, the next AFCON. Nah, we're going to be ain't ready, gonna bro. Stop. And people keep saying, oh, yeah, we got to the final. At least we got. Yeah. My brother, when, yeah. when it's all said and done. Did you get any medal? When, no. When, it no matter, my guy. It matters. It no matter. Your name is not going to be written in the history books. It's not going to go say, oh, Nigeria got to the final. No one gives a shit if you went to the final. The most important thing is to win it. To get your name, your country engraved on that cup. Yeah. 2024 Afcon winners Ivory Coast oh see your mouth <laughs> see your mouth Charlie see no, your no, mouth no, no, no. No, what no. do you think about what's happening to uh, what's the name Iwobi I, I don't know fam they, they, they are coming at I the know, guy I, they, they were coming at him big time bro and I say if, I say if he's the one that made you know they the whole team lose and everything. Lose. And this guy yeah. as well, they're coming out. Um OC OC OC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Again? I can't pronounce his yeah, name. Yeah, I can't pronounce I can his name. him or see him or whatever. They come now him too. The thing with Iwobi, yeah, primarily is because a lot of people are mad, you know, which goes back to the whole politics and everything, because he is JJ Okorch's uh, JJ Okorch's um nephew. Is it? I, I yeah. didn't even know that. That's his nephew. Oh, swear down. Yeah, so so a lot of people are looking at it as nepotism in it. You mm. know, yeah, that, that he got into the team, he got into the squad because of JJ Kocha, which might be true. Oh, but he's still a decent player. But he's still a decent yeah, player. Yeah, he's though, a decent yeah. player. I don't feel he, he deserves to be in the team. I mean, I, I can say that for him. They, but the thing is, it's not like this whole thing. I didn't like the fact that they came at him right the way they did. Bro, they came at dude, bro. Like it's crazy. You know, so. To me, he's not the reason why the team lost. No, 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 no. The no. the team collectively, including the coach, did not put in the right strategies to win that game. In my no, opinion, but bro, at the end of the day, you guys made it to the final, which is a milestone. Yeah, like, you feel me? When was the last time you made it to the final? It's been a while, most likely. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, but 
I mean, you, you should be proud of yourself. Even the, the presidents go meet them, you know, press conference. Fam, he gave them houses that. and everything. Give he gave them, them houses, out. land. Um, he gave them some, some uh, what's it called? Award or something like that. You see? Yeah. That is, that is bad. I'm not going to consider, I mean, you guys suffer. Oh, I saw one meme, they were like, Charlie, we suffer. Bad governance, no electricity, <laughs> no light, no what guy, no, no, no water. Grammys, no Grammy, no of course. Hey, oh, nah, 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 we suffer, we nah, suffer, nah, we nah. suffer. The, the memes were mad. Nah, it's it was, crazy. It was mad. It's crazy. But what do you think about this whole thing here? Yeah? Let's talk about this thing here yeah? because I see it happening a lot, right? Now, a lot of people call it online bullying and all those many, many things, right? Now, there is this politician who just died in um what's it called an helicopter crash Crash. right he's not well he's not a politician i got that wrong he's not a politician he is a bank um director in nigeria Mm. called um habet wigwe okay right so he um he was in california and everything a lot of people people should go read about what happened to kobe la for some weird reason around this time of the year Right, it's very dangerous to fly helicopters. Fuck. So it happened in the same, not the same, not the place, same place, but like but in LA, in, in that same like yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. what do you call it, state. Yeah, you go. I mean, and around the same this this time of the year, that was when Kobe crashed in a helicopter. So Jeez. you get me because apparently for some weird reason the terrain around there is horrible. So um, he crashed there. Now, what do you think about this whole thing where? If politicians or some of these rich people in Africa, I don't know if it happens in Ghana, right? You know, a lot of people have this notion that they've stolen money, that they are corrupt and everything. And when they die, you see people on social media re- rejoicing, mm. you know, saying, yeah, that's good. Because the man died with, I believe he died with his wife and his kid. That is sad, man. You know, but a lot of people are rejoicing that he died and everything. Saying, yeah, you see all that money that you've stolen, boom, 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 boom. You go, know what I mean? And there is this video. I'm just going to play this video real quick, yeah? Mm-hmm. Of this guy. Here's one of these big guys in Nigeria, and you can hear what he was saying. This was what he said. An MD. Who the heck is a Mefele? Uh, Illumilu. What did he do? Where is the factory? He was a bank man, a floor bank man. Somehow got license. At the same time, we are Adeola. All of them, stupendously wealthy now. Wigwe, who became MD of uh, Assets Bank. Eh? So, so, so these guys who just died? The other young man left. Has now established a university. He has the temerity to be advertising that university on CNN. Wigwe University. That's personally established by him. Where is the money? Where is his factory? I says bank. What is the practice? They release dollars to them on a monthly basis. They use the dollars. If it's at one to hundred, they will get it the, through the mala to say one to two hundred. You see that mm. profit. What do they do with it? Who are the commercial people that really need it and get it? Most people get back to the to the mala to buy. No, you hardly will get from the bank. So basically, like you understand the, the whole gist and yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. yeah? Do you think? Do you think it's fair, right? If, quote, unquote, you've been stealing money, you're a corrupt politician or whatever, and because of your deeds, a lot of people have gone through hardship and everything. Do you think it's fair game, yeah, if you die, people can come out and be like, you know what, fuck it? I mean, death is death, you know, like, death is always a sad time. Like, people, I'm not going to rejoice if even if my enemy died. You get me? In, mm-hmm. my, in my mind, am I might... I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna feel any remorse or anything if my enemy died, right? But then I'm not gonna rejoice in the face of others. That is me personally. But on the other, on the other side of the fence, right? 
these are people that have been suffering, watching you. They might not have any fiscal evidence, but they are watching you spend their money. Mm. It's like, I don't want to make any comparisons, but if, for example, right, a drug deal went wrong, and then let's say there's two drug dealers, right? And then one of them kills. I don't want to make, I don't want to, you can't really compare to that, things like that. But bro, at the end of the day, I'm looking at it from that perspective where you're supposed to be providing services to your country or for your people or whatever. But you're there spending the money, living yeah. a lavish life, spending on your family, yeah, watching us suffer, not doing what you're supposed to do. You're not creating jobs for us. You're not, you're not creating opportunities for us. So when you die, why should I give a fuck? True. I mean, death is still like... Yeah, it's still death bad, is death. It? It's bad, like he's, he's gone. He's forever gone. Like he's got a family to look after. He's gone. He's got loved ones. There's people out there that love him. But of at the course. same time too, the masses do not love him because... Of the things that he's done. Exactly. Allegedly. So I can't... You can't blame them. Yeah. You yeah. can't blame them. It, 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 each to their own. Like, I'm not going to do that. But then someone won't give a fuck and I can't blame them for not giving a fuck. Yeah, true. True. No, it's just one of them ones because the conversation has been going on for the last couple of days and everything. Yeah. And like, I've been really thinking about it, right? And I believe, honestly, I believe that some of these politicians, if not all of them, yeah, they already know. They already know that if anything happens to them today, yeah, a lot of people will, will laugh yeah, yeah, and yeah, piss yeah. on their grave yeah, yeah. because, the, so, because of some of the shit that they've done. Now, my whole thing is, if you know that, why are you trying? What? Why are you not trying to rectify some of the things that you've done? Which is where the greed comes in, right? Yeah. So I understand when people dance on your grave and be like, "Yeah, you fuck." I mean, fuck they, you. They, they know people don't give a shit about them, but then they don't give a shit. They, no one, guy, no one lives every day thinking, "Oh, I'm gonna die today or tomorrow." Of course not. You're not thinking. You're not. You're not thinking down. You're not that really line. thinking about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. To you, it's just another day. You're, you're going about your business, making your money. Yeah. yeah. No, no, see, that's the reason why when you look at it, hurt people hurt people, right? Yeah. What, what do I mean by that? Now, you've hurt all these masses. They are hurt by some of the things that you've done, some of the business transactions that you've that done, you've done yeah. as the MD of the bank or whatever the case is. Now, obviously, I don't know, you know, but I'm just going with what a lot of people are saying on the internet, yeah, 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 yeah. right? So if that's the truth... These people are hurt, right? And now, whatever happens, yes, you have loved ones. You have your parents are still alive and everything, right? They've lost their son. But these masses will not give a fuck about them. They wouldn't. They will dance on your grave, bro. Yeah. I mean, sad, sad that a child, like his son, I don't know how old they were, but it's sad that an innocent child was caught in a crossfire, yeah. which is really sad. Again, it's sad that he himself has passed. I don't know. I didn't know him personally. I don't know him. But, guy, it's like, <laughs> it's a tough one. Yeah, it's a very tough one. It's a one, tough man. one. It's a people, very obvious, tough Obviously, there's people out there that will mourn his death. People out there that cared for him or he's done surely, something for them before. Sure, so, yeah, surely, yeah, yeah, yeah. there are people that have benefited from his his wealth and all those kind of things. You know what I'm saying? He definitely has loved ones. Bro, they were showing this guy's house in, in Lagos, bro. Imagine. Are you mad? You see this house, bruv? They were showing this guy's house. I, I was like, what? Bro, that shit crazy, man. It's mad. That shit crazy. So I understand why people feel the way they feel. Me too. You know, but it, it's yeah. just an unfortunate um, It's rather unfortunate, bro. but yeah, that's why you need to try and live a righteous life. You get me? When you're dead, he's not going to feel the pain of people laughing at him, you know, rejoicing that he's dead. Yeah, he's, he's not going to his he's family. Out of here. His family, they are the ones that are going to suffer. They're going to feel it. You feel me? Yeah, man. It's you a know. tough one. It's a tough nah, one. Nah, it's a very tough one, bro. So, obviously, the Afghan happened, didn't it? Right. The Afghan happened and everything. And obviously, on the same night, the Super Bowl happened as well. Oh, shit. Did you see um, Usher's performance at the Super Bowl? I mean, who didn't? Guy, who didn't see that performance? Oh, shit, crazy, man. Everyone had been looking forward to that from when Usher Asha started last tweeting. Year. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. When he did all those promo ads yeah, yeah, and yeah, all yeah, of yeah. that everyone even Kim K Kim K was one of the promo ads everybody was promoting that, that shit everyone bro. had been looking forward to that shit and 
Bro, I feel like it lived up to the expectation and even more. For what? Guy, Asha. Absolutely kill that shit, bro. See, Asha. People will come for me, but Asha is the current MJ of the world, you know? Yeah, he's, he's, he is um the, the, the closest, in my opinion, the closest yeah. to Michael Jackson, bro, in my opinion. Yeah. Bro. You get what I mean? Yo, that guy's smooth. And for his age. Yeah, he's in his 40s. I think he's 45. Yeah, bro. For him to be performing like the way he is, bro, looking good like the way he looks, and bro, the hits, the hits, it was bro. The th- hits. There's bare hits that he didn't even get the chance to play. He had so much hits, right? He had so much hit that he was trying to squeeze everything, squeeze everything in, in within yeah, that yeah, ten yeah, minutes, bro. Yeah, yeah. You could tell some of the songs he was ru- like they were rushing it, cutting and pacing yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, in my opinion. Shout out to Alicia Keys and everything, yeah. But I don't think that the My Boo thing should even be there. Okay, cool. Even if it's there, yeah, I think it was kind of too long. You get what no, I'm saying? No, but guy, that, that song is... My Boo! Bro, but that's... Like a... <laughs> always the one I... person who always... Guy, yeah, that, that song, guy, you... I mean, they could never have omitted that song. Yeah. They can't a... omit that song. That's a classic. It's a classic with Alicia Keys as well. That's a classic. You're blessed to have Alicia Keys on that same stage as well. Bro, that song... Do you know that album is 20 years old? Fuck. I'm not going to be surprised. I mean, I didn't think it would be that old, but... It's 20 years old. Yeah. It's 20 years old because I remember when Confessions came out, I was still in secondary school. Uh, you grow. I what? Golly, you were yeah. in secondary school when Confessions came out. When Confessions came out, I was still in secondary school, yes. Jeez. I remember vividly well hearing mm. um, Burn. Let it burn, let it burn. Let it burn. Yeah, bro. I know when that Little album came out. Old freaking man. days, man. You get know what I'm saying? Bro, I wasn't surprised, bro. You get know what I'm saying? Like, and the fact that he was singing live yeah. and dancing yeah. live and the pressure, I can only imagine the pressure on that stage. You get know what I'm saying? And obviously him changing clothes. Changing clothes, bro. Doing he, the skating thing like, and everything as well. Every, I, bro, I don't know how he... See, the way he changed clothes quickly and then back to the next song. Bro, that shit crazy. Bro, bro, like, I don't know how all under that time. How long did he perform? It was for less than 15 minutes. No, he it? performed for like 10 minutes or thereabout. Yeah. 10, 11 minutes or thereabout. You know what I'm saying? And nah, to bring bro. how many artists did bro? Alicia Keys was Alicia on stage. Alicia Keys, her hair was on stage. Will I am? Will I? Luda Chris was on stage. Luda Chris, Lil John, Lil John, JD. bro. It was mad. It was mad. It was mad. No, hits absolutely, hits. bro. Absolutely. And I also heard that um he reached out to Justin Bieber, but he didn't want to do it. I swear. Yeah, I think you know Justin Bieber lately has been going through stuff in it. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now I don't know, but from the reports. You know, I that, always yeah. said that guy got married too too early, too young, too early. Yeah, I think so too. I you think so me? too. Too I think so early, too. way too early, bro. I think you're in love. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna ask your 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 you older brothers? You gonna say you are something like me now, fam? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, guy, Ashana, ten out of ten performer. That guy is not just a singer; he is a freaking beast of a performer. Nah, he is, bro. He you is. get me? Bernard Boy needs to pick a, a, a leaf or two from his page. Listen, you, you've just gone to where I was going, where I was planning to go to. Uh, where did the carry, where did the <laughs> carry us go? <laughs> you didn't carry me go where I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. Jo- okay. Because I wanted to ask you two things, your thoughts on the whole thing that was going on between him and Alicia Keys. You saw the memes on social media and yeah, everything, yeah. right? But since you now brought up this one, right? Do you remember the conversation that we had about two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, where I was telling you about, you know, Afrobeat artists in terms of performance? Mm. Yeah? When you look at someone like Osha, bro, Mm. when you look at what he was doing on that stage, Mm -hmm. to me, that is what I am hoping for. Yeah? That, That our artists... Uh, who, who, when when it comes who, to who, performance, who 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 who, bro, I think Bonner Boy has the potential to get there. Bernard Boy is a performer, but he's not a dancer. Like no no no, forget about the dancing he, thing. But uh, but Bonner Boy the dancer, he the dance. But this type of Bernard Boy no go fit. Bernard Boy type dance, right? I don't know how to explain it. No no no, but this is the thing though. This is the thing. Just before you get there, yeah, 
it's not not a lot of people can dance like Usher and Chris Brown. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you don't even need to really be a dancer or whatever. I'm not even talking about the dancing aspect of it, yeah? I'm talking about the performance aspect of it. Now, now bear in mind, from what I read, that Apple, because Apple is the is the one that sponsors you get me. So they allocate fifty million dollars. Fifty mil. Just for the halftime show. Fifty mil. Fifty mil. You got five me? zero or one five. Fifty. Five zero. <laughs> <laughs> you got what I mean? So so just imagine the production that goes into that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that can be one thing as well. I see where you're going. You get know what I'm saying? Now, now I'm not saying that we should that that we should bring out 15 mil or we have 15 mil. I doubt if we have that type of budget. Nah, I don't think we do, right? But I'm just saying in terms of the artistry, mm. right? When you look at Usher and what he does on stage, the singing, the movement, and everything, and all that kind of shit, right? Bro, he's masterful with it. Yeah, yeah. He's masterful with it, right? And to me, that's what I was talking about when we we're having that conversation. Right, I hope and I pray that our artists, yeah, can watch some of these people because that that's the era that I grew up in. I grew up watching the Ushers, the Michael Jacksons, the fucking um the Princess, um yeah. fuck you go. Know what I mean, yeah. you know. So when you watch all those people and see how they are on stage, right? I hope our artists, yeah, emulate and work towards that. To I get to f- that I f- point, I feel like most of our artists concentrate a lot more on the music side of things than the performance side of than things. the performance. Yes, side of absolutely. It. A lot of them is like the performance thing. I think you've even said it before. The performance thing to them is their back case, bro. Like they want to get the music, the hits. They want to get that before they even think of anything else. And you go chasing the hits, go chasing the music, go chasing it. And it's never ending. Bro, when you go to some of these concerts, some of these Afrobeat concerts and everything, yeah? And you really pay attention and you understand performance, right? For the most part, it's the music that is even carrying the artist. The artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. music. When the music comes on, the whole crowd is singing and, uh, and everything and all that. Then the artist, you see the artist, the artist could just the, you understand? No. The artist, yeah, should be the one controlling the crowd yep, not the music not the music right so you're right in that like they concentrate so much on the hits right hoping that the hits will do the job for them yeah right but the thing is they should they should go and learn about stage performance yeah. now back in the day record labels right had to put you in a class and everything, get coaches for you and all that shit. You get what I'm saying? Now, they don't really do that. Not really. You know, once you're buzzing on social media and everything, they'll just pick you up and put you on stage and everything. That's it. You go. I mean? Once so, you, can, you can shake a leg or two, jump around, drink some Red Bull and be able to you're, you're bring good that to go. energy, you're good to go. You're good to go. Because they are looking at the music to sell. That's to, it. To get the crowd going. That's what it is, bro. But when I'm watching Osha, bro, fam, that shit was a master in yeah, class, yeah, bro. Yeah. No, no, no. People master like Asha, in class, bro. Chris Brown, you can't touch them. Bro, you can't touch them. And this is why they always sell and sell and sell and sell because they are not just singers. They are fucking performers. That's crazy. It's crazy. But I, no, bro, I'm review. I hope an African artist can actually emulate that. I get it. You want to get to the bag. The music will take to the bag. But once you secure that bag, guy, invest. That's another level to this. There's, there's different levels to it's it. Level invest to this. in your craft. In, that's it. Invest in your performance craft. But then, bro, when you think about this here, yeah, and listen, I hope, I hope that Afrobeat artists will one day go on that Super Bowl stage and everything. But, guy, it took Osha like 30 years. To get to that stage, you yeah. know? It took him like 30 years to get to that stage, yeah. bruv. Ah. No be my my you. Nah, no be. I, I wouldn't say with, 30. I wouldn't say with 30. With all the hits. I wouldn't say 30 years, though. No, I mean, him. No, his, his career. Oh, okay. But then his career, I wouldn't say 30 years because I don't think he had the hits in his catalog 
In his early stages, in his early days. Yeah, I'm talking about so the span of his career of and everything. His career. Yeah, okay, it's it's okay. taking him like about okay, 30 okay, years okay, 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 to okay. get here. To be yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I get you what you're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, he did yeah. not just start yesterday, he did not just start five, ten years ago. He's been you in the game for, for, yeah, for, for a long. while, putting in work and and the bar has always and been. This is here Asha for we're talking about. This is you Asha know, we're talking about, bro. We respect like we respect him like crazy. That's what I'm saying. If you're gonna talk about the top five, you let's say top ten. R&B artist. He's there. He's there. He's he's, there. he's in that. He's he in that. He's, he's that. There. And we're talking about R&B, yeah. which is like the biggest music genre, one of the biggest music genres in the world. He's there. You know what I mean? And to me, that's because when you look at um the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl is not like the NBA All Star, right? The NBA All Star, they are in touch with the black, uh, the black community. Yeah, more. more. Than the um Super Bowl. Super Bowl. The Super yeah, Bowl yeah. Is, is is still is still white. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get me? So you need all those white people to know your music for you to be able to get there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's part of the reason mm-hmm. why there's a debate going on right now whether Lil Wayne because because for next year's one will be in San San Louis. Okay. You know what Which I mean? Which is that's yeah. an Afri- that's a that's, that's where he's American from. Yeah, that's dominated. where he's from. Yeah, yeah. You know, so a lot of people now are debating, oh, sh- should Lil Wayne do that? But then, even as big as Lil Wayne is, a lot of people are saying, yo, do, you know, has he really, really crossed over? Like, do white people really know his songs like that? You mm. know what I mean? Bro, that's what I'm saying. You know, it's not my mind, you know? Even Lil Wayne, you know. Lil yeah. Wayne, that once upon a time, he was the god of, <laughs> of, he, that's what I'm of saying. music. That's what I'm saying. It's not my mind. You know, but uh, Afrobeats will get there. We'll get there, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. We will get there one day, one day. We'll, we'll get there. When you know? we get the respect that we 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 fully ought to be receiving. Yeah, you get me. What do you think about this whole thing of um Alicia Keys and and Usher man on stage? A lot of people were trying to make a big deal out of it. What do you think uh, about it's that? It's not a big deal. I I get it. See, how what? can you get it? No, but no, you no. don't get the Tyrese one. No, no. This is performing. This is performing. They are performing a song that they've got together. Okay. You get me? I'm not out there writing new songs, right? How, how old is that song that they sang? Like, Donkey Years Ago. 20 years? There we go. Ali Shaki was probably, was not with Common at that time. I mean... Swiss Beats. Swiss Beats at that time. These two, they come conf- Common and Swiss Beats. <laughs> they, they, they are both bold, isn't it? Um, they were not together at that time. I don't know if they were, but even if they were, bro. Anyway, fuck that shit. I'm not sitting down writing songs about my ex. But you're the same person as well. Let me let me throw let me throw you um throw you another curveball. You also the same person that said that you cannot date because if you say that oh it's music it's art this this this. No. You're also the same person that said no, that you th- cannot date an actress. I didn't say I cannot. I didn't say I cannot. Yeah, you did. I said I'll find it difficult to get used to. Whatever it is that their life is like. So why can't you look at that as a job? Art, but but what whatever. did they even do on stage that was so? So and if you noticed, so, right? So basically, like Osha was holding her. But if you noticed, yeah. if you noticed, yeah. Every time Osha do um Alicia Keys, step away, a step bit. away a little bit. I'm sure you noticed that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I like I don't know if I've I've got two takes on it. One is either she felt a little bit uncomfortable, or two. It's all part of the, you get me, the, the stage thing, thing yeah. make it look like, because you know, for the most part, it makes the guy look like he's the one chasing and chasing then the, the girl, girl they yeah. flex on, yeah. you know, that's what we've come to see. Yeah. So I don't know if it was that or it was the other where Alicia Keys just wanted a bit of space. I don't know which it was, but I didn't see nothing. It's not like Asha was grinding on her or anything. Asha no grind on them or anything. It's just standing back, holding waist a few times, you know, did one or two moves. It was not that deep. Me, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. I was surprised that a lot of people um, took offense to it. You know, people are a little boozy. We are saying that Usher needs to apologize to Swiss Beat. Okay. A lot of people then, even Swiss Beat came out and said, bro, you guys are focusing on the wrong thing. Yeah. These are two legends with this classic and everything performing on stage. So he's cool with it. That's what it You is. know, which obviously shows that he's secured in his relationship. He, he doesn't really care. He's secured. Yeah, he's secured in it, you know. And, but a lot of people on social media were obviously projecting whatever it is that maybe they're going through in their own personal lives. Or also, different people have different standards and all those kind of thing. You know, the same way a lot of people have their own definition of cheating. Mm. 
You know, some people will say, oh, if you're messaging someone at all, that that's cheating. Oh, if you're deleting messages, that's cheating. Oh, if we, you know, it, so everybody have their own no level of cheating metrics it? when it comes to you. You know what I mean? So if you so go to a club and then you... You say you, hi to somebody. Or you, you're you dancing and then a girl comes Somebody want to dance with you. That's cheating. That's cheating to them. You know what I <laughs> mean? Everybody, then, everyone it's, and their standards. So every, everybody have their own metrics to it. You know, I think that was the same thing that happened with the whole Swiss Beats... Um, Usher and Alicia Keys, you know, with with what Usher and Alicia Keys did on stage, mm. you know, because a lot of people had their own opinion to it, you know, and also because Usher obviously has this reputation of, <laughs> you know, Kiki Palmer, oh, for oh, example, collect, and all that collect, shit. collecting people's yes, girls, yeah. breath, you know, <laughs> I think he said, "Don't keep your girl around me," you know, <laughs> yeah, oh, true player like, for true real, player for real, you yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all those all things, you get me. So, but um, but I'm glad that. Swiss Beats came out, right, and stood for his girl and be like, "Yo, fam, I'm good, bro." Yeah, it's, it's not that. It's not it, that. Like it's uh, yeah. like it's all acting on stage. It's all bro. acting on stage. You get me? She's like, she's she's coming back home to me tonight. Baby. You that's get me? what it is. That's what matters. You look going on about it. You're probably not secured in your own relationship. But yeah. bro, Ali Shakir look good, bro. Girl, that I say, girl, that girl looks that girl looks sweet. Like, do you know what, bro? That girl, there's only a few artists that can that are in that age category that can still pull that Beyonce sexy as well, bro. Beyonce Kelly Rowland flipping Shakira guy there's there's levels to that shit are you the type of guy yeah are, are you let me ask you this this might be a personal question but are you the type of guy that likes other men looking at your girl I ain't gonna lie guy. like like if you walk into a place and the man they are looking at a girl thinking, damn, she looks good. Like, your girl looks good. Uh, if any boy. I'm not talking about them approaching her wherever I get the case is. They, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. If any boy tells me that they don't like, they dislike it, or they are against it, or they don't wonder, or they are lying. Some people, some, hey, bro, you'd be surprised. They're, they are lying. No, 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 no. I know somebody off the top of my head right now. I know someone off the top of my head right now, yeah. His girl, they complain about that thing. Say, bro, this guy, he is too jealous, bro. Just look at his girl one time. The guy might fight you, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. But. No, but it, there's levels to it. Some guys will look. Like, will look, look, look. Mm -hmm. You know them ones that they will look and be like, God damn, or look and they lick their lips. And then, like, that disrespectful way of looking. Bro, I like that shit, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Some some of it can actually... No, bro, come on, deep it. Some of it can be disrespectful. Bro, I, I listen, I'm the it's like guy. They are watching your woman. They are undressing her in, in, in front of you, like, with their eyes. Bro, look, look, but you, but you can't touch, bro. Nah, some of them be some way. Fam, I'm the kind of person. I'm the kind of person, yeah. That shit, me personally... That shit turns me on, yeah, bro. Yeah, you're a freak. I've always known that. Nah, you're a freak. fam. Nah, nah, bro. This guy is a nah, freak. Nah, fam. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you mean freak. No, no, bro. Nah, fam. If I walk into a place, nah, nah, yeah. Jokes, jokes. Bro, if I walk into a place, yeah, and and the man there looking at my girl thinking, bro, oh my God. That's when you're, you're taking the rice. Fam, I'm thinking, yo, you're getting it tonight, bro. But <laughs> you get me. But fam, if nobody's looking at you like that, I'm, I'm nah, looking at you, bro. Nah, if no one's looking. Bro, like, I might even break up with you, bro. You know what I mean? I'm thinking, bro, what? Nobody wants you, bro. Why would I even want you if nobody wants you, bro? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'd be wicked, man. Nobody yeah, wants so you, man. At that point, you're thinking, what did I even see in, in you? Exactly, like? bro. <laughs> Nobody wants you. What did I see that no one else can see? Like, I'm telling you, I'm not, bro. I'm not, I'm not Stevie Wonder. Bro, I hey. will start <laughs> double taking my, my choices, fam. I'm just thinking, <laughs> bro, are you serious, bro? So nobody wants this girl, mm. bro. I think it's time to 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 discharge her. To discharge her. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm telling you, bro. Nah, I hear that. <laughs> no, but for real. Nah. Yeah, fam. Every man feels good when they know other men want their chick. Wants their chick. Yes. Facts. I, I do. And again, I don't. You said you know someone, but bro, I'm sure Swiss Beat felt good that night. Of course, of course, of course. Just looking at how, bro, Alicia Kid looks good. She looks so good, and I read that she had on as well. 
Nah, that 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 outfit, mm, bro. Listen, bro. Her, her, her body complimented the outfit. Charlie, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. That, that's what my prayers, you know. Well, that's what my prayers that when we get to that age, when we're like in our fifties or whatever the case is, mm. right, or late forties, wherever it is, right. When you still look at your girl, your girl still set, bro. Mm-hmm. I feel I feel sorry for some of them, man, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I. I yeah, that's why, bro. I think I I feel sorry for yeah. some of them people if you're that are in their forties and fifties, bro. This is the advice I will give yeah. you, people. If you're thirty, don't go and date someone who's thirty years old. A man. If you're forty, if you're a forty year old man, mm. don't go and date a forty year old woman. But there are forty year olds that that still take there care are. themselves. There are. I think it all F- comes fairs, down, bro. Fairs, bro fairs, I think it, I think it comes down to how you. Take care of your body, bro. Mm. I think that's just what it is. Because if you look at Beyonce, bro. Mm. If you look at Beyonce, bro. I hear that. I hear if that. you look at um, Alicia Keys. If nah, you look you, at Kim. You got, you got a point. You, you got, got me. a point. Got a and point. I know people will, will easily say, oh, but they got money too. I, I think I know a couple people that don't have the same type of money that they do. It the, all comes the, down to how you yeah. take care of yourself. The, mo- the money enhances it. Don't get me wrong. It enhances. It does a lot of tweaks. Yeah. You get me? But you don't need to be rich to look after yourself. You don't need to. You eat every day, don't you? Yeah. You eat good. Exactly. You train good. Eat good. Like, you eat every day. You go go buy. You go and buy food. You buy things to cook. Like, you eat junk food, whatever. Invest that money in eating better food. Yeah. You get me? You, 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 you do other activities. Invest that time in working out or doing an activity that would actually benefit you benefit your body yeah you get me get a good night's sleep read a book do things that would rejuvenate your body bro and the same goes for men also yeah, yeah. because i know people who hear this right now think that we're only talking about women i know a chick i know a chick yeah i know a chick that said this or rather her man said this in front of everybody, we were all chilling, having food or whatever. Her man is in his 40s. She's in her 20s. Yeah, and she gave my man an ultimatum, fam. Listen, no matter what, you are, you are not getting no, no fucking pot belly, fam. <laughs> yeah, for real. So every day you see the guy, the guy, they go jogging and things. He looks good, though. Bro, if this guy does not tell you his, his age, yeah. you will probably think he's in his 30s. Imagine. I'm telling you. He looks good for his age and everything, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, because at the end of the day, man, listen, I don't want to be in my 40s or late 40s or 50s, bro. You get me? Nah, fam. I, I, I don't want to die young, fam. You don't I, die young. I don't want to die young, bro. Uh, I want to look good, bro. Nah, facts. I'm, I'm hitting the gym soon. You got when me. When I go, I'm going hard. I want to even take up boxing training and that. You get that me? is the best type of workout. I heard. You see, boxing is the best type of workout. Mm. If you join a boxing gym, yeah, bro, forget about weights. By the time you do all them skipping thing and and running around and everything, mm. bro, you will shred. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, so that is the best type of workout. Boxing. Ask anybody. Yeah, you forget about lifting weight and that. You don't need all that. Boxing. You could just shred. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, man. Summer body pending. Just watch out. Relax. Hey. Summer hey. body pending. When hey. we start, we're going hard. See ya. We're going hard. <laughs> See bro, ya. Summer, I'll come on the pod. No bro, shirts on and everything. Bare yeah. bro. Bare chested in there. Bare chested yeah. in my shorts, my... My swim shorts, you, yeah, yeah, I'll just wait. I see ya. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, yeah, man, listen, shout yeah, out to us and everyone, know. bro. You <laughs> get what I mean? Doing their thing. But, guy, as that was mm. happening, let's happen. jump into the BS right now before we close out, bro. <laughs> as that was happening. Now the same day. Now the same day now. Okay. So, for people that don't know, yeah, you know, see, for this, our culture, we, we too like trouble. Yeah, we too like trouble. So somebody came on social media. Hmm. Yeah. And tagged Bonner Boy. This beef between Bonner Boy and Davido, I would like to know how this beef started. Hmm. I honestly would like to know how this beef started. You know what I mean? Because I don't know. Is I know that yeah. the both of them used to be cool. Apparently. Like, now really all cool, of a sudden, everything just went bad. And now it's real bad. Right? So somebody said, 
Let me just pull you up real quick. Yeah. So, you know, pe- people do all this whole bantering thing and all these memes and yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. So somebody said, Bonner Boy is playing to Ivory Coast fans why they shouldn't transfer him there. Right? And then he replied and said, well, lie. You know, obviously that was in the heat of the moment, the whole AFCON finals and everything. Right? And this individual who has Davido's picture on his profile page. As his profile picture. Yeah. yeah. Came in and then said, oh, there. Bottled four Grammys. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which, which is a bit of a shock, right? What, what is a shock? That he bottled four Grammys or... Four Grammys, isn't okay. it? Yeah. Okay. I that, mean, yeah, yeah. That's a shock, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So once he did that, Bonaboy now replied to him and said, the actual joke is in your display picture, <laughs> which is obviously... David, a picture Davido. of Davido. You know what I mean? So once he did that to the guy... Mama now went and changed his display picture to Bonaboy's photo, fam. <laughs> <laughs> you got me? To Bonaboy's photo. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then somebody now replied and said, um, laughing my ass out, mm. right? Oh, Bonaboy, no fee stand on business. He mm. folded. So Bonaboy now replied and said, you know, C say Baba don't change him. Put my, 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 my picture. No picture. Now, maybe joke. Then obviously the guy who he shot at now says, "Should we tell him and everything?" Mm, you know what I mean? Mm, mm. Now obviously the whole conversation now started. Someone now says, someone now tagged Davido and said, "Forever for turning his life around, man supported you till you became someone in life. Mm. Now that you are big, you feel he's the same person you should joke with. Mm. Man knew what he was saying when he said you're a new cat, and he wasn't kidding about it. It's a is this your arrogance that will finish you up? You allow Jews and in Jew when you get life, they wind your head, make you they stand against your brother. All in the name of stanship. You are a big shame to the whole MBM. Where is the social equity and justice? Bonaboy, you fell off so bad. I pray f- for your end soon if you know change your ways. Mm. Bonaboy now replied him with laughing emojis and said, Now all these lies where Una they tell Una selves, where they give Una mind. All these corner bomb. Now online Una they shine, Sha. Yan as you like. Your organa pussy. Fucking hell. Fact. Now fact. Fucking hell. Man called my pussy, fam. Fucking hell. I don't even know where to start from, bro. But one thing I'm actually surprised, Riv. But at the same time, respect a lot. So I'm surprised about one thing. And at the same time, I respect that a lot. What's it? It's the fact that Davido has not responded. Salute to him. Listen, I salute him for that. Yeah. I don't think he should respond. The Davido we know would usually jump on the wagon by now and then do or say something. Yeah, but I don't think he should even reply. He shouldn't. Nah. And I respect him for that. And I don't even think... Bonaboy should have shot him like that. No. Nah. In my opinion. This is the bro, better boy they throw stray bullets now. You get me? Yeah. Where did Davido's name even come from? That's the thing. That's the thing. You get me? Like at the end of the day, in my opinion, if you want to engage with with trolls or whatever, hey. Feel free. Do feel your free. Have your a platform. It. You got you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But the man was not the one shooting at you. Yeah. Davido was not the one shooting at you. You know what I mean? Why you shooting at him, though? Why? You know what I'm saying? But it goes back to what is this beef all about? All about. Because none of them have actually come out to say this is actually the real problem, mm. right? And then also, I don't like the fact that in the industry, yeah, everybody, people always have this whole thing of, you know, it's not my business. I'm just going to stay away from it. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I, you good? Oh, Lee. That's all right. Like, there are people that these two guys actually respect. Mm. Why are they not coming together to say, hey, guys, let's sit down and have a conversation? You get my point? Why is everybody acting like you know? It's well, not my business. It's I not my business. I'm, I'm not just, gonna yeah, get involved. I'm just gonna stay away from your nerve. And I think that's some bullshit behavior. In that, my opinion. that is where the unity is not there. There's no unity. There's no unity there. Like nobody 
can come up and say like, come on, it's the fake. whole Nigerian music industry. I'm sure there's people that Ben Boy has got like a great connection with. Yeah. There's people that Davido, like there should be someone or some people in common that can say, yo, can fellas, like, yeah. Like, that, this is unneeded. And, and Unless it's all a gimmick, which I don't believe it is. I don't think it's a gimmick. I think this shit is real. I think this beef is real. And part of the reason why I don't like the beef is, right, but that boy, you are a global superstar now. Mm-hmm. Some people will call you star. Some people will call you superstar, right? Anything that you tweet or say carries weight. A lot of weight. So if you're saying that about Davido, who is also a global star or a superstar, how do you think people are going to be looking at us? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, because you're tweeting that, thinking it's only Nigerians that probably saw it, or maybe it's only Africans. Nah, you just nah. Pe- you just performed at the Grammys yep. the week before. Yep. You've won a whole different new audience. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's seeing you do that and everything. Me, personally, I think that was distasteful. Obviously, I don't have a dog in the race and everything, but just looking at it, I don't think that she was nice. Now, if you want to throw back to, to, to the guy who trolled you, hey, cool, have at it. You know what I mean? But you shouldn't really... Damn, bro. You, like, you're calling the whole... The dude a whole pussy, fam. Twice. You, you don't know. Well, the first one was what? You know, like, he's a he's, loser he's or something the, he's like the, that. Yeah. He's the joke or whatever yeah. it was. And now you're going to put... <laughs> and then put facts at the end. He gave me, he said, fact, not fact, bro. <laughs> God damn, bro. Yeah, I, at this point, we, we have to fight, too. Yeah, that word pussy, like, that is deep, you know? That's deep, bro. That is deeper than the joke he called him earlier on. That's pussy. what I'm saying, bro. That shit crazy. Where, like, where does that come from? Like you said, we need to know, bro. Bro, we, we need, need we to need know. Because for you to boldly call your fellow artist a pussy, that is, that is deeper than... That is deep. Whatever the beef is, I want to know where that beef nah, came No, we need from. to know. We need to know. Yeah, you know I'm saying. And, and bro, and the thing is, I, I will show you this. I will show you this here. That this beef, it does stem from money or woman. You think? Woman. Money or woman. Guy, whatever it is, that's mad disrespectful. Yeah, like, it's not worth it's it. It's mad. Nah, 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 nah. Bernard Boy, that was uncalled for. I'm going to say this. That was uncalled for. That was needless. Very, very needless. That was very unnecessary. You get me? I don't give a shit who you think you are right now, but that was disrespectful and that was very unneeded. I don't think he should have called him pussy. Like you that. don't do that. Like, come don't on. Do like, what, what Davido, well, maybe he's not saying to you that we don't know, but we don't know of it. So to me, in my eyes, that was a very, very low blow. And also, the people that that are in this industry or wherever that are doing chairman, 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 bro. Why are you people not calling these two guys in, into the same room? Uh, right? They don't need, you don't need to call shit, them into the same room, Seth. Have a conversation with both parties and then see what's going on. Like, because, come on. Yo, yo, I believe, pe- no, no, see, I believe that they know what's going on. They must, I, they must. I believe that they know, the people in the industry know what is going on, which is the reason why I say, yeah, bro, both of them need to be in the same room yeah, with the people that matters or whatever, and have a conversation and be like, mm. yo, guys, how can we go past this bullshit, bro? Yeah. Because this shit is becoming childish, fam. It is. You know what I mean? You can't be a global superstar Guy. calling another global superstar. Guy. Yeah. We are trying to build this fucking, this fucking genre, this fucking culture, where, wherever people want to call that, yeah? And fam, you're on social media calling my man pussy, pussy and everything, bro. Like, to me, it's not worth it. No, it's not. It's, two, it's not worth two it, bro. big artists. The like, both of you are making money, bro. Mega weight artists. You were both nominated for Grammy Awards. You were both in the same room not that long ago. Like, you get me? Come on. Like, give the man the respect that he's due. I don't know what Davido did for you in the past. And even if that's true, guy, come on. There's no way to treat someone that actually held your hand when you was going through rough days. Again, I don't know if that's true or not. But regardless, you're two mega stars. You don't do that. You don't come on social media and then chat shit about your fellow artist, especially when the public does not know if or what is done to you. Yeah. And uh, me personally, the both of you are making money. The both of you don't have to be best friends. No. You get me? But you guys can come to some sort of a, a solution. All right, cool. Bro, don't talk about me. I'm not going to talk about you. 
cool, we are cool. All right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and everyone is cool and everything, but this whole shots and everything, bro, are we, no, are, are we, no. uh, fam, are, are we in primary school? You no know need, you no know need. You get what I'm saying? You no need at all. You no need at all. Like, we've gone past that shit. You get what I mean? My opinion, bro, it's Ooh, not worth yeah. it. But anyways, bro, should we call it a day, fam, yeah? Brother, I mean, so far as you're okay, you don't want me to call a doctor for you? Nah, bro, I'm good, man. Nah, he's, nah, he said he's okay. I don't know about that, but people, he said he's okay. He said he's fully recovered. Listen, from the we are still the giant of Africa, bro. Of regardless, the super bro. chickens. Oh, sorry, super eagles. <laughs> he's recovered from, you know, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Super chicks. Because <laughs> you not play like pussies. Oh. I'm going to say it. Yeah. You, you play like chicks. Like, you know chicks, yeah? Like, a, a, a hen's kids. Like, kitty ginkolan, kolan, kitty, kitty, Like, yeah. <laughs> it was like chicks playing against an elephant. Anyway, so far as you, man, are good. So far as you're good. I'm good, bro. We can call you a day then. Yeah. See ya. We will see, see where you guys are, bro. <laughs> You get me? You guys have fired your coach. You guys are fighting each other and everything. Quasi, my guy. You, you go see, you go see Kenya, but you know step foot for there. Ah, boy. See your boys. <laughs> you, you, you get to find out. You get to find out. You think it's the end of it. You get me? Yeah, yeah our guys. Yeah, you, know, you go see. You go chop another fifty years before you guys go even reach. Oh, I'm not gonna reach there too. Go oh, chop fifty years there. before you go reach Come final road. This is the way they play. Come Come see, road. Road. Oh, oh, see, oh, see, oh, what's his name? Oh, see, you better fire your coach. Because you guys played shit. Why should we fire him? He took us to the finals. I beg, I beg. Fam, you guys could not even win a game, Final bro. is still not a cup. Ah, boy. Go and get into the final. At the end of the day, we're all back to square one. Are we not? No, we're not. Yes, we are. We, we took up the silver, fam. You, you fought, fought, fought for silver. What is silver? A medal. Your name is still not engraved in the... What in did the, it take in the books. We did, we, what did we, it take We don't need shit. We've still, ah, we've still won it four times. More than you. We've still won the Afcon four fucking times one two three four how, how many have we won you've won it three times no four times bro three my guy get your finger right do bro. your research come on do black do, stars tell him to do his re- research no be only black stars black moon stars at least stars they sh- they give light come off a road at least stars <laughs> <laughs> at least stars <laughs> will bright we don't, <laughs> get, we don't get electricity for your country for, how many, get for how many decades now you know bro ste- get electricity. steady not lie steady not lie steady Right now, if electricity goes off in Ghana, only for like 10 minutes, max. Guy, why did I? No, fucked. No, nah, it's fucked. Do your research, bro. In fact, you're we've, lying, had, bro. we've had electricity for properly for the last at Same least. Same here, so. I beg. Oh, yeah. They said when you go to Nigeria, oh, here is generator. Every corner of the road that you pass. That, it might as well be your, your national anthem. Salut, 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 salut to every single one of you out there, bro. It's all bro, love, it's all love, it's all love. Salut to all the freshers, man. Salute to everyone who's, who's been supporting us from the beginning up until now, man. You already yep, know yep, this yep. is Fresh of the Bow show. Today is Kojo's day. You get me all the Ghanaians are trying to party. It's all right. Okay, drop your you comments. Drop it's your comments. Right. Drop your comments. You Let the Nigerians know how you're feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's your boy Toby and your boy Cole. Salute to Kels, man. And also salute to you guys as well, man. For real. If you've not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, watch the videos. Leave a like, leave a comment, share it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend. Because people. they got friends too. Yep. And yep, also, yep. you can listen to the episodes on Spotify, Apple Music, or rather Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, and every other podcast platform that you are on. We are also there. You get me? And also, if you want to advertise with us, if you want to do some promotions with us, you know, if you want to sponsor the podcast, listen, drop an email on fotbpodcast at yahoo.com mm-hmm. or you can slide into our DMs. It's right there in the description box as well. You go, know I mean? We're open for business. We are open for business, bruv. And until next time. Love. <laughs>